Hi everyone, this is JJ and welcome back to Be Colorful or welcome if you are new. Today we are gonna create the last card together using the products uh, included in the Tonic Craft Kit 44. As uh, I already said in the previous video, we continue with the transparency and I gonna propose you a very particular shaker card using a recycled material. So let's start creating card number 30 right away. My idea is to create a card with a clear portion, like the card we saw in the previous video, where I created a horizontal banner in acetate. In this card, the clear banner will be vertical. Then, after creating the card base in standard size, that's four and a quarter by five and a half inches on white cardstock, I'm going to cut out the card base itself, forming a banner on the left. Then, on white cardstock, I'm going to create two strips of paper of the same size as the two remaining panels of the card base. The height is 5 and a half inches. For the width, I measure directly from the panels of the card base. These two panels, as you will see, will cover up the two parts of the card base. Next, on this beautiful white craft paper with red foil stripes, I'm going to cut out two strips that will form finishing edges. And we come to the funniest moment. The card will be a see-through shaker card, so it will be possible to see it inside through the shaker window. But the feature is that the shaker banner will be floating. Let's say, to achieve this beautiful result, I'm going to use a plastic bag of those that contain stamps and dies, for example, recycled material which I keep pending other uses. So I don't waste it unnecessarily in the environment, giving it a second chance. With these bags, I'm going to create a clear pocket that will hold the shaker element. You've seen that I chop off one side and make it smaller, and now I'm removing the flap, the one with the annoying sticker that sticks everywhere. That's why I don't keep the stamps and dies inside them. Okay, now I'm going to seal the open side with a strong double-sided tape adhesive. The pocket is ready, so I glue it on the card base. If you prefer, instead of double-sided tape adhesive, you can use normal clear adhesive tape, both to glue the pocket on the card and to seal any open side. Notice that I left the top of the pocket open, from which I'm going to insert the shaker element, making a mix of uh, sequins and confetti.
Once the pocket is filled, I'm going to seal it by folding the top opening and gluing it to the back of the card. Now I finish the front of the card gluing the red and white striped border. To make sure that they stick flat, I'm going to drop the shaker element on the opposite side. So I glue the strip of paper to the edges of the card base. I fold the two excess ends and glue them to the back of the card. I'm going to do the same things for the other strip of paper. Ok, I also add another border with the green classic card of the kit. The color combination of this card will be the one proposed by the kit itself, red, white and green. I also decided to decorate the edges of the white panels with the dice from the kit. Finally, I'm going to assemble everything. Let's move on to the sentiment, which will be composed of the words uh, peace, hope and love. Using the four the dice of the kit, I'm going to die cut on the green classic card, the word peace, While for love, I'm going to use a red mirror card, not included in the kit. To give uh, stability to this die cut, I'm going to die cut the basis on acetate using the appropriate dies. Next, I'm going to glue the outlines uh, on the top of the acetate basis. Finally, I'm going to glue the three words in a column on the clear banner, applying the glue only on the sides. Before move on to the final details, I'm going to glue a white cardstock panel to the back of the card to hide the top closure of the pocket. Then, from the beautiful embossed white pearlescent paper of the kit, I'm going to create a banner that I'm going to attach inside the card 
creating a background that can be glimpsed through the clear part. And this is the time to add my final details. I'm going to add some uh, sparkling glitter with the Nuvo Aqua Shimmer Pen Glitter Gloss. And uh, I create a few drops with the red Nuvo Vintage Drop included in the kit. Thus ending the 13th and last card for this kit. For this kit I made a lot of cards, I had a lot of fun using it and I hope that my ideas have been useful to you to create your Christmas card and to use in all possible ways which obviously came to my mind the product included in the kit. I'll never stop encouraging you to take inspiration from these ideas if you like them, even if you don't have the kit. I really love uh, this last card for the colors uh, and uh, for the effect of the shaker part created with the clear pocket. From now on, don't uh, throw away the clear bags of the product. In the future, we will create uh, other cards with them. I really like the effect and we can make many shaker cards even different from this one. And then let's recycle, which is never a bad idea. So thank you for joining with me today. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a nice thumbs up if you liked the video. So thanks again, see you next time, bye bye and be colorful.